In this video, I'm gonna show you an EQ hack that will instantly clean up your mix. This is the second part of this series, and in the first part, we balanced the mix and got everything properly leveled to an industry standard using a reference track. The reason why we have muddy mixes is because there's too many things in the same frequencies and the low mids, and it becomes very annoying, and when we listen to our mix in the car, it doesn't sound good. So I'm gonna show you the best method to clean up your mix. Now, the, the most important thing in a drop or a hook is your drums and bass. It's where a lot of mud can happen. So what's the most important? To put a fab filter cue on our kick, bass, to start there. The kick is always the loudest element of any track, especially dance music, or your bass is the loudest. So on our bass, we're gonna put the analyzer to kick, and all we're going to do is see where the kick is hitting, this is right here. And watch, there's gonna be a red line that pops up. Right there. You see that? So we're gonna put a point. Right there. Right here. So all we're gonna do is make dynamic. We're just make it pretty skinny. We're gonna make one right here. Okay, then we're gonna go on our kick and do the same thing for our bass to make sure that nothing in the kick is clashing in the low mids with the bass. Right there. So our kick, you see this red line that's showing clashing frequencies. So our kick, our bass is hitting at the red. Right there, we wanna make dynamic right here. And then right, right here in the low mids. And right there, because our bass is taking up that. And I just should start with three decibels. Look at that. Okay, we need on, back to our bass and widen this a little more. Look at that. It's just gonna clean up so much and give us so much more headroom. We're gonna do the same thing with our hats and claps because they're on the high end usually. So we're gonna put our hats to our clap. So this is our hats. So we can do a duck right here. Is our clap meat right here. And then we can go in our clap. Make sure to go to our hats. So our hats are sitting in the high end. We just make sure to... Okay, and then I hear some low end rumble down here with the tom and a late kick. So I'm gonna make sure on this tom to put it to the bass because I don't want it interacting. Look at that. Look at that tom. Make dynamic. I'm gonna put this down a little more because it... Maybe a little wider. Boom. And then there's this like late kick that I want to make sure that's not interfering with my bass. Right there. Put this way down. Maybe it's like negative six. So now we gotta take our lead. That sounds like a lot of highs. We gotta make sure it's not interfering with our hi-hats of our drums. So we're gonna take this, 
to our hi-hats. Look at that. So our leads are interfering with our hats right there. So we can just cut some highs. Much better. I can hear everything. It has its own space, has its own frequency. That is the most powerful mixing concept in EQing ever. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button down below and comment down below any questions you have. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make your kick and bass slap and sound super professional and thick and really rattle the low end perfectly where it doesn't sound shit in the car, but it sounds amazing and feels amazing in the car. Let's get it.